Based on the materials we are supplying, we should put in mind that we could come up with a practical of this nature or the one of a rectangular glass prism, which I'm going to also do a video on that. So before I continue with this, I will urge you again to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like and also share and also tell us your comments about what you feel about what we are doing. So without wasting much of your time, let us quickly run through the question. This is the set of the diagram that is going to give you a guide to what we are to be doing. Now this is the question. Using the above diagram as a guide, carry out the following experiment. One, place the equilateral triangular glass prism on the drawing paper, trace the outline A, B, C of the prism. So these are the outline A, B, C. Remove the prism, draw the line N, O. This is line N, O. So we're going to follow it the way it is here, such that it makes an angle I equals 25 degrees. So this is angle I, the angle of incidence. Now you should note that most sometimes they may ask you to look for the what? The glass angle, the angle here. So you may call that theta or whatever angle. So whatever case it is, it's still going to be exactly the same what? process because all you have to do is to take measurement with your measuring instrument. If these two pins, P R1 and R2, vertically on line NO. So R1 and R2. Replace the prism on its outline. Four, place the reflecting surface of the plane mirror in contact with face AC of the prism. So this is face AC. So you put your plane mirror there. Looking through the face BC of the prism, this is BC, so you are going to look through the side of the prism. Face two other pins are R3 and R4. You can see here R3 and R4 such that the pins appear to be in a straight line with the images of the pins at R1 and R2. Remove the prism, the mirror, and the pins. Draw a line to join points R4 and R3. So you join them together. Produce line R4, R3 to meet line NO produced at what? T. So this is line NO. So produce to T. You also produce this line to T. Measure and record the angle theta at T and E at what? T. So we have to measure this angle here, theta at T, and you also measure what? The MHS angle E. So this is the MHS angle E at point D. You have to repeat the procedure for four other values of I equals 30 degrees, 35 degrees, 40 degrees, and 45 degrees. In each case, measure and record the corresponding values of theta and E. Tabulate your reading. So again, I'm going to start this by writing out the given parameters that we have here. So let's see this. So I'm going to draw this. So the first part I'm going to have is to set I in degrees, I in degrees. Then we are asked to measure theta. So I'm going to have theta in degrees also. Then we'll have E also in what? Degrees. So this is the table that we are going to do. So what I'm going to do is just to fill the angles. So the first angle is 25 degrees. So I have 25.0. So take this and draw the outline. Do not allow it to be too close to this so that you can use your protractor. See? So that you can get your protractor. So if I draw it somewhere around this place, it's going to be enough. So let me trace this out. Okay. So put a dot on anywhere on this and place this on top of this. Ensure that this line is straight on top of this and mark 90 here. The angle that we are measuring is 25 degrees so you can also measure 25 degrees from 90 so this is 10 
twenty twenty five. So we have to remove this and draw my normal. Just place this on this and draw this. Then come to this place. And draw this to this point. Now take two pins, place one here and place the other one here. Allow them to be close to each other, don't allow them to be far from each other. In fact, that's one of the precautions. And also, the pins should also be erect. So return this on the outline. Return this on the outline and take your plain mirror and place it behind this. Okay, so you're going to take two other pins. And look through this side. This side. And place your pin there. So when you look through this picture, I'm going to see the two pins inside the glass. So I'm seeing it here. Okay, so you can move your face across left and right and see where the lines aligned totally. So I'll place this here. Then I'll place this on the same line as the four pins, the two inside and the one outside. So here. Yeah. So next, I'll remove this, remove this, and remove the pins. Then I'm going to draw this, okay? Here, this is one is supposed to be extended backward. So I'll extend this backward to any length. I come to this place, join these two. And then extend it to this place, then extend it backward. So there's going to be a normal here too, at this point. So place this here. You can place it up or down, any way you want to do. Just place it on that one. And show that this line is on this, and mark 90 here. And come to this place. Please do not draw your normal with free hand. Always measure the angle. So draw this. So that gives the number. So this is the angle of EC then 25 degrees. This is the emergent angle. And this is theta here. So you have to make this. So this is our point. So you have to measure this angle. To measure these two angles, place this on one of the lines. Okay, place this on one of the lines. You can place it on this line here, or you can place it on this. So if you place it on there within 90 mark on top of the point where they intersect, adjust it so that this stays on top of this line. And then measure this angle upward like this. So this angle is going to be, this is zero, this is 60, 65, 66, 67 so from my here it is 67 degrees so i'm going to record that for theta then on this one also i have to measure this angle here so you place this here place it on top of one of the lines again and measure the angle between them from here my angle is 25 26 so my angle is 26 degrees. So the first one I record as 60. So these are the angles represented there. Then I'll have to do for 30 degrees again. I'm going to do it 30 to 35 and pause it. 
then you can complete the other one. Then I'll go over to show you how to manipulate the result without um, carrying going through this rigorous process. Next, let's draw the outline again. So draw the outlines, outline again. So after you have drawn the outline, again put a dot on any point on this line and take your 90 degrees. 90. So draw a straight line through that. It's not compulsory, you must draw the line. But just draw it. You are using the dot, this dot, to, so that you'll be able to draw 90 degrees to this. Then the next. The next angle is 30 degrees, so place it on this again and ensure that this line is on top of this. The thing aligns, so you measure 30 degrees, right? so this is 10, 20, 30. So put a dot here and come to this place, place this on this, draw it to this point and continue to trace it backward, just like that. Then the next thing you have to do is to put two pins here and place another one here. Then return the this to the outline, then place this here. So take these two other pins. So look through this point again and trace the pins out. So I look through this point again. So I'm seeing the pins here. Then I'll place another one. Be on the same straight line as this. Okay. And next, I'll remove all of this. So again, join these two points. To this point and then break this other point until it touches this so here you are going to put a normal here place it and ensure that this is straight on this line so that this is straight on this line so you put 90 here so join this point and this point So again, I'll measure theta and e. So place this on any of the line at this point here. At this point here, so I'll place this on the line, on this other line. Then I'll measure this angle this way. In fact, my angle is 50.0. So I'll record that as 50.0 degrees. Then I'll come to measure this again. I'll place it on top of this point here. And place it on top of one of the lines. So this line here. So my angle is close to 35, 35, 36, 37, 38. 38.0 degrees. So I'll do it one more time. I'll do it one more time. Then I'll leave you to study the rest yourself. So trace out the outline again. So this is my outline. Now what I'll do is to put a point here again on any other part of this. Place my protractor and determine 90 degrees from that. So I'll join these two. So I'll draw this. The next angle is 35 degrees. So I'll place this on top of this. I measure 35. This is 10, 20, 30, 35. 10, 20, 30, 35. So I'll take my ruler, join again. And 
and I'll break this one this way to any length. Then place my outline again. Okay, this is my setup again. So I'll look through this. My pins are not erect, so I need to erect them to get accurate result. So I can look through this. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm going to have K. This. And uh, this key. So I'll remove all of this and then join this to this. Thank you for this. Again, let's draw our normal here. So I'm going to place this here and put a dot here. So I'm going to draw my normal through this point. So this is my emergent angle. This is my angle I, it's 35 degrees. So I'm going to measure theta and E again. So I've placed this, place this on top of any of the line so let me place it on this and measure this so on measurement my angle is Fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-five, fifty-six. 56 that is 56 degrees 56.0 then I'll come and measure this angle here place this on this line and ensure that this is straight so my angle is Twenty twenty five degrees, twenty five point zero degrees. 